Hello everyone, it's Nikki Batgirl D'Angelo, and this is Star Citizen edX Anonymous. Today we're going to talk about one of the new features of version 3.5 of Star Citizen that's now in the PTU and live for all concierge and subscribers. My first opportunity to try out the new flight model was actually at last year's CitizenCon. I worked so hard during the whole conference, I never even got a chance to take advantage of that opportunity and never had a chance to engage in what then would have been futility because I think it's changed a lot since then. My next opportunity was when the PTU opened for me on Saturday night. I streamed on Saturday night and had quite a number of viewers watching as I was trying my best to grasp the new flight model. I didn't go in with an open mind. I was very frustrated, and I think I was cursing a lot on my stream. You could still go out and watch that stream if you watch my videos on demand at twitch.tv forward slash Star Citizen AA. My initial impression of the new flight model was, well, I hated it. In fact, I was very highly negative about it. I think I was cursing a lot about it, and it was during my stream. If you want to go see me make a fool of myself, go over to my Twitch channel over at twitch.tv forward slash Star Citizen AA. You should find it in one of my videos on demand. Um, Saturday night this past week, oh god it was ugly. Scuba Steve, a loyal and longtime viewer of mine, spent some time with me and I started to get a hang of it by the end of the night. I still wasn't a pro and I probably am not a pro right now. But I would say that I'm a good novice at this new flight model. It changes everything that you remember about flying. So you're going to fly more like a real life spaceship. Not exactly like one because there are no orbital mechanics. And the, I mean, when I talk about this, I'm talking about in physics. So maybe not like a real life spaceship. You're going to fly more like uh, the spaceship in the game Asteroids. There's going to be a lot of sliding and slipping around on the map. Now, CIG has done a couple of things to combat this, and one is the integrated flight control system, and the other one is the speed limiter. And I'm going to tell you this, when you, if and when you do load 3.5, whether it's in the PTU or it's in the live servers when it goes live, just throw out just throw out everything throw out all your control mappings throw out everything because you are going to have to remap every control again you're going to need to play the game see how you like it with those control maps and then you're going to need to remap it again and tweak it until you're happy with it i spent saturday sunday monday and tuesday doing that and this morning being Today is the 27th, so it's Wednesday. I actually got in for 20 minutes, and I think I started to get a grasp of it to the point where I'm beginning to I'm beginning to like the new flight model. It definitely makes flying seem more like a World War II game. It definitely removes the need to uh, to decouple all the time when you were using comstab and the traditional flight model before you're almost always with no comstab now and when you do decouple it's just to turn your nose on target which is very important when you're fighting big ships when you're fighting little ships like this i find it a little bit more well a little bit less ooh that hurt a, a, a little bit more um confusing Oh, by the way, the AI in this game with the new flight model are your biggest worry. You probably won't get shot down, but you will crash into your wingmen quite a few times. So why did CIG change the flight model? That's a good question. CIG is trying to draw this gray line and trying to ride the gray line that they draw between simulation, in other words, real life, type of gameplay and gameplay now if 
we look at the elements that made games like Wing Commander and Privateer and Star Lancer and Freelancer fun, it wasn't the front, it was never the flight model. It was the rich storyline and all the things that we could do in the game. But now, when we're looking at this game, they're trying to put so much into it. Trying to make everything realistic. How you walk, the pathways that the AI takes, what things look like, how things degrade. I mean, this is getting to the point where they are putting so much into this game that it's starting to make me believe that they might just be going way over the top looking for that perfect mix of reality versus gameplay. That's, that's my feeling. I'm not in any way, sh shape, or form saying that it's not a good thing that they're doing. And I'm not saying that they aren't succeeding at that. What I'm saying is that seems to be what they're doing. So when they're looking at the flight model, they're trying to ride this very thin gray line between the flight model being fun and the flight model satisfying those people that stay in Arena Commander all day long and really want a richer and more accurate and more realistic flight model. I wonder how many of us actually care about that so much. I think that when you take me, for instance, I don't see myself being a combat pilot in the game, though I will do combat at times. I see myself as an explorer, a trader, and an entrepreneur. That's what I want to be in the game. So for me to actually fly my ships in the game, I'm going to have to spend time learning how to fly a more realistic flight model. And to me, I could shrug it off, because if you watch my videos, you can tell that I do like realism, because the aircraft that I like the most inside of X-Plane 11 are the ones that are the most realistic and feel more true to life to me. So why is this bugging me? Simulation games to me have a expectation that when you play them, they're going to have that ultra high level of realism and they're going to require a lot of time to learn, which is why since I've been back in school, I haven't spent any time instead of inside of DCS World because it will literally take me a boatload of time to learn it. It's also why inside of x 11, I don't fly the big giant airliners because just learning how to start them up takes quite a long time. So when I look at what I expect out of Star Citizen, it's a little bit different. I don't expect that I'm going to have to spend a lot of time learning systems and perfecting my skill at using them to play the game. All right, now before I go any further, I know at, at that statement, I deserve a lot of rassing because from the start, we've known that this is the game that Star Citizen is going to be. I just kind of hoped that it would air more on the side of fun than it was going to be on the side of simulation. And I'm not even going to say I'm not going to enjoy this in the future. I'm just going to say it's not exactly what I wanted from my space game. It's what I want from my Kerbal Space Program, right? Learning how to fly and get to the planets and having to figure out my Delta V and orbital mechanics, la 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 la, yeah, right? But I'm... I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm at a loss of words right now because I did find myself having fun while I was learning the flight model. And I did find myself actually beginning to feel what it was going to be like in the future. Now, there's no way that we can say this is done right now. This isn't done. The flight model is something that's going to evolve with each implementation of the game which each release of the game until they say it's perfect 
And over time, I think it's just going to be one of those things for me that annoyed me at the, you know, at the very beginning. But I get over and just look past in the end. I just hope it doesn't sway any new users from coming into the game. Because I feel like somebody that's more of a casual player might find it very hard to fly in the game. Now with all that said, I'm going to say this. Spend a lot of time honing your skills and building your control maps for whether, whatever control method you use. Whether it be keyboard and mouse, HOTUS two sticks, HOTUS with a set of pedals, whatever it is. Try out many different combinations or many different key maps because no one is going to be perfect, but one of them is going to be more perfect than the other for you. Let's get this last kill and then let's close this out. Ooh, got him. Oh, that was an awesome kill. Well, folks, all I have to say is I really do like the direction it's going in, even though I just complained for 10 minutes about it. I am just a little disappointed that it isn't going to be just... You know, I was looking for a Wing Commander replacement, and what I got was something well beyond that and well better than that. But... I don't know. When I, when I played on Saturday, I was kind of disappointed and I got very frustrated. And I think I'm coming around. I think I'm starting to see where they're going. And I think my skills are starting to get better at it. And I hope you all stay the course and fight through the learning curve that the new flight model offers. Get to the other side and see how many cool maneuvers and see how much fun it is actually to play with the new flight model. Thank you all for watching, for tuning in to all my videos. I really appreciate it. And if you do like the video, please click the thumbs up button below. If you subscribe to my channel, be sure to click that notification icon so you get notified of all my future videos. And with that said, you all be safe out there, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.